Thank you. So, your total time would be 15, and uh, X is a timer will <laughs> by the card about 10 minutes, and 30 minutes, okay. and 15 minutes. This is going to be the main challenge for me this week, is to stay in time, mm -hmm. because I talk too much. To, to, to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so are we starting now? 15? That's it. Good morning, everyone. A real pleasure to be here with you today. And I'm going to make a statement first. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to talk to you about how to speak better English or whatever. Because being French, obviously, I'm not skilled for that. <laughs> My whole purpose this morning is to talk to you about communication. And I've got a few slides. No, I'm going to play the slides. Okay. I've got a few slides for you, about five, just to support uh, this conversation today with you. Now, I was a year ago in the office of our group president, Edra. And it was at the seventh floor in Peoria, the big office with a big boss. And we had a chat about different subjects. And he looks at me and he says, Damien, have you, do, have you done already talk like TED? I said, what? He said, yes. He said, have you looked at the videos on the net of talk like TED? I said, no, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've got no idea. So he said, I'm not going to tell you more. Just go and search the web. And then you see what talk like TED is. So I did that. And I did, again, this weekend, I was, was preparing for today, to talk to you about how to become effective in terms of communication. Now, the first thing is, why do we even talk about communication? Why do we talk about communication? Why is communication so critical to our lives? I'm not talking just professional life. I'm not talking about you at CXL. I'm talking about life in general, as you talk to your friends, to your kids, to business partners, or anyone you meet in life. Well, the first statement I'm going to make today is one. The main currency of the 21st century is ideas, new ideas, good ideas. I'm going to repeat, because this is part of what we do every day. The main currency of the 21st century are great ideas. The question is now, it's very nice to have a great idea, but what if you cannot communicate that great idea? What if you are the sharpest guy or the sharpest gal in a meeting, you know that you have potentially the solution to a problem, but you cannot communicate that solution or that idea that you have? Very frustrating, right? First, it's very frustrating because you know you have a great idea. And two, it's frustrating because you know you cannot have other people understand what you're saying, so you can't help the group to make progress, or your family, or your kids, or your friends. So, this is why we talk about, you know, not only language on one side, which is English, which is what the Toastmasters are, but on the other side, why it's so critical it's okay because I know it by heart, so if you can't get the slides, it's not a big deal. So this is so critical because you need to be able to convey your great ideas to other people. That would be your way to influence the world. Right? We all want to influence people. Sometimes we can influence only a few people, one or two around us, wife, friend, colleagues. Some people have shown us that they can influence the world. And I will come back to that. Now, my question to you will be the following. In the days to come, I'd like you to go on Bing or whatever. Don't try like I did last night, go on Google. It does not work. <laughs> I tried last night, it was not working. I called the hotel guy. The net is not working. I'm upset. It's like 11 p.m., right? The guy comes and said, okay, it works. I said, no, look. I said, no, you need to get on Google. It does not work here. I said, okay. I get on Bing. Or on Bing, I did get the top like 10 uh, videos as well. So just get there. And you will see what I've seen is that there are three principles, three principles to be effective in terms of communication. The number one, yeah, go ahead. 
So this is the one I've covered. Go. Oh, go back one before I get there. I forgot one. Public speaking defines the career. Um, you can hear my English. I mean, it's far from being perfect. My communication style is what it is. One day I was in the US, just fresh, first week in the US, my new assignment. And one of the guys asked my boss in the background, why did you pick that guy? And my boss, my new boss, answered to that my peer, well, he's not the sharpest guy, but he can communicate. He can sell ideas to other people. In many respects, your ability to be a public speaker, to improve your English on one side, and your communication style on the other side, is going to define your career, or is going to define your private life as well. So, this is what I think. You will think by yourself whether it's true or not. But public speaking on your ability to stand up in front of people on past your ideas is going to define your career on many things in your life. Next. <clears throat> First rule, create emotions. People are not logical animals only. People react to emotions. In your speech, you have to create emotions. If you do not create emotions, people are going to fall asleep. They will not listen to you. I will come back to that. Rule number two, bring something new. The brain, the brain needs is fed by new ideas. As soon as you bring new ideas to your people, it triggers some kind of chemical reaction up there on attention. Bring new ideas. So it could be a new idea, like a Nobel Prize idea, or a new way to deliver your idea. A new format, a new way, a new video, a new which is going to interest you. So that's point number two, something new. Dopamine is that chemical in your brain which is being released when there is something new impacting your brain. As a public speaker, you want to make sure that you release that dopamine in all the people in front of you. That the end in mind. Point number three. This one is easy. 18 minutes no more. I'm glad I've got 15 today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 18 minutes no more. I will tell you why. It does not work if you go beyond that. 14, 15, 16 is perfect. Next. Because I've got only 15. Create emotions. You have to touch a person's heart before you touch his head. So do that. Do not talk only graphs, six sigmas, whatever, whatever you want. You have to find a way to touch the people. If you don't, you fail. All right? Number two, you can create emotions by sharing with people what you have yourself in your heart. You know me, Sophia, I'm not very corporate sometimes, but that's the way I do it. You have to relate to your own story. You can talk about your dog, your wife, your kid, your friends. You can talk about experiences that you have had in the business. <coughs> Pull out something personal. I started the speech with Ed Rapp, my best friend, gone from the factory. You have to relate to something personal. Create, create emotion. Humor, body language, passion. This is cultural. You know, in some cultures you can use passion. In some others you can use humor. It's up to you to flex, it depends on what you like in life. For me, I like humor, you know, it's different from people to people. Body language. If you're asleep, people are going to be asleep. Big surprise, right? Some people are asleep. They are Nobel Prize, but they are asleep. Sorry. So, that's it. Recipe number one, create emotion. Do it. Plus it's fun. Okay? So it's fun. Let's have fun when you, you talk to people. It's easier. Make sense? We are good. Yeah, Number yeah. two, something new, unexpected, something people, once you have Bill Gates, Bill Gates is in front of a thousand people to defend the cause for malaria. You know what malaria is? The disease that you get from mosquitoes in Africa mostly, and you, you know, you become weak, you can actually die, actually got it, when I was working in Africa. He was talking about mosquitoes and malaria, and you have a thousand people, they were falling asleep. And you know what he did? He opened, he was on stage just like I am. He went to take a plastic box 
he opened his plastic box like that. What was in the plastic box? 100 mosquitoes. There were like three ladies in front here. They like jumped two meters behind. Like, you know, they, they were like jumping three rows just because they were afraid of the mosquitoes. Because mosquitoes deliver malaria. Do you think those people are going to remember what he said about malaria? Oh, yeah, sure, you will. You will? All their lives, a thousand people will remember about how much of the test? Final me. Okay, good. More than I <laughs> All their life, those people are going to remember about malaria. Well, it was a fundraising uh, thing, so they're going to give money for that. So, do you think that the end in mind of Bill Gates was to create emotion and deliver something new? Yes, he did that by unleashing 100 mosquitoes in the room. Think about that. It can be fun as well. I, as I said, it could be a new idea or just like we get in just open a box with mosquitoes. So don't open a box with mosquitoes every time. It's got to be relevant to your stage, right? <laughs> Law number three, 18. Well, if I do well, by the time I'm done, you should, you should be tired. Well, I've got an impact already on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> if I can make things move, I should be able to make you move as well, right? So, I'm, I'm going to try it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was my new way to deliver, make things move around the room here. Okay? Um, I've been working in different countries in the world, and every time I had to learn a new language, it's tiring. When you listen, people are talking a language which is not yours, it's tiring. You know, after a few hours, you're like, Listen, listening to people is tiring, it's exhausting. <clears throat> so make their life easy, cut it short, 18, no more. After that, they think about their wives, their girlfriends, vacations, a new car, uh, what they have to pay the next day. Their mind is going to go all over. You, I, you <coughs> cannot keep <coughs> people's attention for more than 18 minutes. Out. You know the Americans, they have studies on everything, right? There are PhD people looking at all kinds of stuff all the time. 18 is the maximum. More than 18 is crap. Easy? It works. John Kennedy sending the first rocket on the moon in 1969. His speech on TV in front of 200 million Americans. How long? 14 minutes. Martin Luther King. You know Martin Luther King? Yes. 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 Black leader in the States. I have a dream. I have a dream. How long? 16. 16 minutes, 1 6. Has it changed the world? Yes or no? Yes. He has changed the world in 16 minutes. I think you can do it. Next. That was my last one. To handle yourself, use your head. To handle all the people, use your heart and communicate with your heart. That was it. <laughs>